welcome everybody to the channel and today we've got the last uh, boat in our uh, fights that never happen series uh, this will be the last um, fight in this uh, series of fights um, save the best for last in my mind uh, this was the one I was looking forward to um, where I mean there was a lot of them that were good but uh, this one has uh, um, I loved Arguello at this point uh, in my life uh, big uh, uh, smaller I love the smaller uh, lighter weights than I did the heavyweights uh, really a lot of, uh, I'm not I'm not Mexican but I loved a lot of the Mexican fighters of that era and even though uh, Roberto Duran was one of them I was not a huge fan of his I liked Arguello even though he wasn't uh, <laughs> he was Argentinian Tinian, and uh, but I really enjoyed him um, so this fight uh, never materialized it was rumored that Arguello was moved up from featherweight to lightweight to prep for Duran but uh, Duran would move up to middleweight and nix all that never happened but today it's going to happen and we're going to see who um, would uh, take the crown here uh, by this time in 19... 78 or so Duran was a lightweight champion he was a hell of a lightweight I mean of all the divisions I think lightweight was probably his strongest and as you see there he's rated a 12 whereas Arguello is an 11 he was more of a featherweight I think that was his strongest I believe so but uh, pretty evenly matched if you look at it tail of the tape Arguello and Duran both have the control factor 10. Aggressiveness will go to Duran. Uh, killer Instinct, Duran. Endurance, Duran. Uh, defense, they're even. Chin, pretty even. Slight edge, maybe, to Arguello. Uh, and then their accuracy, they're pretty even. And power, they're even. So this is a pretty even boat. Uh, special uh, traits for uh, Duran he has a strong closer trait and a absorber trait which means he's can he can take some punishment take a lot for uh, TKO to happen on, in this fight so scheduled for 12 rounds the referee today is Harold Valen and judges are going to be Russell Naquin Rudy Battle and Charlie Burns uh, Harold Ballon is normal on fouls and normal on TKO. And here we go. Round one, scheduled for 12 rounds. And it's going to be Duran getting control early. Arguello, Arguello, 11, lands a nice combination. And then huge combination again. Clean on Duran. Arguello, 38. Misses with the combination that time. But follows it with an uppercut on the inside. That scores. Still in control. Have to get out! Referee is going to tell both fighters to keep it clean. Duran gets control, 69. As he circles the ring. This time he's going to push Arguello into the near corner. And then misses with a cross. Now he's got him over into the far corner. As they move around the ring. And 
mind's still in control. Time to get out! And a miss at the bell by Duran. And a wild hook misses from Arguello. Both fighters go to their corner and Arguello got the best of that one here in round one. We head to round two. Misses with the hook. And oh, we're going to get a stoppage. And a stern warning to Arguello. A rabbit punch. Over to Duran. Duran, 43. He's going to miss with a hook. Follows that up with another hook and it hit. Connect. Arguello. Both fighters circling the center ring, center of the ring. Over to our, and the Duran lands a huge left hook. Arguello stumbles, he's hurt. Let's see what Duran can do here. Duran with another wild hook that connects. Arguello's in trouble. Combination. And another combination. The counter misses for Arguello as he just was hoping to connect there. And finally Arguello wraps him up and he's gonna get through that little spell there as he slows Duran down. What a shot landed by Duran. 18 is gonna be, Duran's gonna continue to have control. He misses with an uppercut. And the hook comes from Arguello. Duran with another uppercut and this connects. And what do we got? Arguello again on weak knees as against the ropes. He holds on for deep weight and the round ends. Just as Duran punishes him with a straight right hand. Wow, what a round for Roberto Duran. Arguello didn't know what hit him. No carryover effects. That's good for Alexis Arguello. Man, 72. He's got Arguello pinned in the right neutral corner. Over to Arguello, 45. He misses with an uppercut. And a cross misses from Duran. There's a nice jab and a straight right hand from Arguello. Arguello still in control. Takes it back to the center of the ring. Now it's Duran's turn. Duran lands a nice combination. There's Arguello with a right cross. That connects. Over to Duran. Duran. Stalks his prey. Here's Arguello. Arguello with a nice cross. Arguello. And the referee warns both fighters. 75. And the fighters continue to circle each other in the middle of the ring. Here's Duran. Duran lands a nice hook. Partially blocked by Arguello. 
And that's going to end round three. So Alexis Arguello responds with a solid round here in round three. We head to round four. Punch points. Duran clearly in the lead there. That crazy second round where he almost finished the fight. Round four. Here's Arguello. Lands a nice combination. Now he's got Duran in the near rope. Lands a nice hook. There's another rush cross that connects from Arguello. Over to Duran. Duran with a huge right hand. He... Oops, shoot. I hit the wrong button. Almost goes down and is knocked into the far ropes. Duran attacks. He's going to miss there. And then lands another hook. With a huge right cross on the counter. That hurt Duran. He wasn't expecting it. As that ends the uh, killer instinct immediately. Back over to Duran. 31. Lands on the combination. And we got a major cut under the right eye of Alexis Arguello, and that's going to add one to his CF. Control factor is going to be, it's going to put Duran at 11 now. Back over Arguello. Eyes up Duran there. Back over to Duran, 15. An uppercut connection. From Roberto Duran, 46. Missed there. The counter connects from Arguello. Still Duran, 77. And he'll push Arguello into the right neutral corner. Back over to Arguello, 61. And ties him up. That's the round. And what a round it was. Both fighters landed some big shots that round. The cut man cannot stop the bleeding. So that major cut under the left eye of Arguello will continue to persist. Luckily it hasn't affected his defense as of yet. Round five. Over to Arguello, 47. Misses with an uppercut. And a, a hook from Duran misses as well. Back over to Duran. He misses with an uppercut. And then Arguello with a wild combination misses. Back over to Arguello, 16. He lands a nice hook. And now Duran has some blood trickling over his right eye. And that's going to affect his defense. And his punches landed. This is not good. For Roberto Duran. He goes down to 1 to 30. And his defense goes to 0. So that's going to make Alexis Arguello 1 to 34 on punches landed. Arguello, 29. He'll land a nice hook. And then a huge 1-2 combination. Clean shot. 
Duran felt that one, but he's still coming. Still in control. Arguello with another right cross. Over to Duran. 55. And the Over to Arguello. 41. Misses. And Duran with a nice combination. Arguello. Back to ring center. Still in control. Lands a nice combination. 57. There's a clinch. And as the bell sounds, Arguello lands a nice, another combination. And Duran did not look good that round. Arguello looked in control. That knocked out, uh, that punishment he took in round uh, two, you couldn't even tell. As he looked fresh and ready to take out Duran that round. The cut man has done a good job of stopping the bleeding over the right eye of Duran. And the right eye, uh, major cut under the right eye of Aguayo. Looks like it's in good control. So both fighters continue here. Round six. Our Duran stays in control. 44. He is going to miss with a cross. The counter connects. It's a big combination. And Alexis Aguero. Referee warns both fighters. Here's Duran, 53. To get As they clinch at the center of the ring. Duran, 38. Misses. With the hook. Stalking, looking for an opening. Three. Another warning from the referee. Back over to Arguello. And again. Arguello ties up Duran. Duran just trying to land something. 32. That's going to be a nice uppercut from Arguello. Duran lands a nice cross. a miss with the cross there from Duran. Probably the least uh, active round for either fighter as we head to round seven. Let's look at the endurance for both fighters. Still in good shape, both fighters. Here's Duran. Duran with a nice cross. Duran with another big right cross. X again. Still in control. 41. He'll miss there with the uppercut. And then come right back with another combination. X. Over to Arguello. 41. He'll miss with a combination. Still in control. Lands a nice uppercut on the inside. Back over to Duran, 66. He circles the ring, center of the ring. Still in control, 65. Still looking for their opening. Arguello being patient. And there's a big right cross. No swelling or cut. But it was a huge shot landed by Roberto Duran. Here's Arguello, 49. He's going to miss. And the counter hook misses from Duran as he just threw a wild left hook that could not connect. 
Arguello, nothing occurs. Referee s separates the fighters and then tells them to continue. Over Arguello. He misses. Duran with another right cross that misses. Still Arguello, 43. Misses again. And this time, Duran lands the combination. And he has got Arguello again. Wobbly. Let me take care of him. Oh, they didn't give him... I thought that was full, uh... I swore it was said full, um... Uh, killer Instinct, but I guess not. He didn't guess it wouldn't have mattered. He only got one that one shot. But a big round for Roberto Duran. As these fighters trade big shots after big shots. It's been quite a fight so far. Round nine. It's Duran, 73. Circling at the center of the ring. Still in control, 78. There's Arguello, and Arguello lands a nice combination. Back over to Duran. Duran connects with a hook. There's Arguello. Arguello lands a left hook. Control 54 and Duran will tie him up. Back over to Duran. Duran with a nice cross. Arguello's turn. He connects with a jab and then a right hand, straight right that connects. Arguello with a right cross. A tremendous punch, and Duran had to take a step back. But not before an uppercut connects, and now a cut is formed on the left cheek of Roberto Duran. Now he's Push Duran into the far right. And the bell sounds. And Arguello answers that big round from Duran. They're just trading rounds here right now. And now let's see if Duran can answer. Round nine. Duran with a right cross. Right out of the gate, he comes right at Arguello. Arguello with a jab and a straight right hand. And the referee's going to stop the action. And he's going to give a warning to Arguello for rabbit punching again. Over to Duran. Duran with another... Uppercut that connects. Duran, 68. Circles the ring. Back over to Arguello. He will miss with a cross. Back over to Duran. Duran, 26. That's going to be a combination that Arguello with a right cross that misses. Still in control. 32. He will land a nice left hook that grazes the cheek of Roberto Duran. What do we got? I lost my train of thought here for a second.
cut connects for our Guayo. Our Guayo. That's the end of the round. Our Guayo comes on strong late, but not Duran. Not uh, fared fairly well in the early parts of that round, though. And now we look at the punch points. It is almost even. This fight has been unbelievable. Our Guayo. Here as we head to round t 10. Duran. In control. 38. Misses with a hook. Still in control. 36. He misses again. With a wild uppercut. Still in control. There he connects with a nice left hook. Back over to Arquail. Arquail with a huge left hook. Back over to Duran. 47. Misses with the uppercut. And then Arquail follows that with a combination that misfires. Still in control is Duran, 61. And then he ties him up. Over to Arguello, 53. There's a clinch. Still in control, 31. There's a uppercut that connects. Still in control. Oh, Roberto Duran hitting on the break. And Harold Valen will take a point away. Oh my, what a turn of events here in round 10. And uh, Duran is irate. Duran in control, 23. He's going to win the next round. Still in control, and Duran with a huge right cross. Still in control, another huge right hand. Back over to Arguello, and Arguello comes forward and hits the jab, and then a straight right hand. Duran into the ropes. Much time left. Do it. Our Guayo's killer instinct kicked in, but only 12 seconds remained in the round. And our Duran gets lucky, but with a point loss, I would have to think that either it was a 9 9 round or. Arguello is going to take that round because it could have been a 10-10 round. And with the lost point, that could have given the round to our Alexis Arguello. And at this point in the fight, that is huge. And now Roberto Duran, strong closer, kicks in. Plus one control factor. And he's going to go to an 11. So let's see how that affects this fight going forward for the final two rounds. Duran, 64. There's a clinch. Duran, 11. Lands the left hook. Big left hook. Back over to Arguello, 73. And he's going to push Duran into the left neutral corner. Still in control. And there's a huge combination. He's got Duran hurt. 59. A 9. Oh, he's just fatigued, so that hit point will not land in his knockout chance. It will be a nice cross. Next. There's a huge, huge uppercut. 
Oh man, he is just landing big shot after big shot. Duran is stunned. He is almost out on his feet. 16. There's another shot. A straight right hand. Stays in control. He pushes Duran away from him. Trying to land that knockout blow. Now he's got Duran in the far corner. But Duran gets control. And ties him up. Duran with another miscombination. Still in control. 68. And they're back to ring center. And there's a nice uppercut that lands. And blood spurts from the lips of Alexis Arguello. Eight seconds remaining in the round. A huge round for Alexis Arguello. And after the point taken away in round 10, and this huge round for Arguello, I think that Duran is going to need a knockout here in round 12. As his control factor goes to 13. One thirteen, one oh seven of the punch points in favor of Arguello. This is going to be a classic, hopefully a classic, final round. Both fighters gassed. Here we go. Duran, 39, misses with the hook. Still in control. Comes back with a nice right cross. Arguello answers with a left hook that connects. Back over to Duran. 33. He's going to miss with the jab. Still in control. 71. Slowly moving about the ring. Still in control. 22. He hits him with a right cross. 33. Control 70. Still looking for an opening. He wants to land that one punch that could end this fight. Or is it too late for Roberto Duran? Arguello in control. 47. Misses. The counter misses from Duran. Through another wild left hook. Comes up short. Arguello still in control. This is again. And another miss with that left hand from Duran. Arguello. Now he's going to push Duran into the left neutral or right neutral corner. And hammer him with a left hook. Back over to Duran. He misses. With a hook. There he lands a nice uppercut on the side. And as the bell sounds, he lands a straight right hand that buckled the knees of her glail, but it's all over. The bell sounds. This fight's going to the cards, and what a fight. Saved the best for last, and it turned out to be the best fight of this series as Arguello and Duran put on a show. Look at those punch points. 122 to 120. Can't get much closer than that. Let's see how the judges saw it. Even. Judge 1. Arguello, 114, 112. And Judge 3 for Duran. It's a draw. We have a draw. And... <laughs> I am going to have to do a rematch on this one. This first fight goes to a draw. Let's see what that round 10 did. Yeah, all three. If, if, if 
Duran wouldn't have lost that point, he probably would have won a, a split decision or a majority decision. Unbelievable. Duran Arguello, we're going to have a second fight as this fight deserves a rematch. And then we'll call it a series. So there you have it. What a great fight that was. Arguello gave Duran everything he had, and it was good enough for a draw. We'll see if her Arguello Duran 2 coming up in the future. Everybody have a great night. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.